Hey guys, this is Dancing Taco here with another Borderlands 2 episode. This is the third one. And this time I'm playing with my, fr my friend, Immortalized HD. I know he watches these videos, so he's probably going to watch this. But um, And it's not the Immortal HD guy. I mean, he's a fanboy, so his name is that. Hate on him all you want, because I do too. But... He's not changing it because he likes him so much. And he spawns with no head. It's kind of creepy. It just kind of weirded me out there for a second. But we go and we go. He's level 56, so I'm kind of the outcast in this. But I still try to kill people. I kill a few of them. He decides to go into a menu at last second and do some stupid crap. I don't even know what the hell he was going to do. But he goes over there and travels because... I was already over here, so he just wanted to spite me. We're going to do some uh, side missions that I never decided to do, I think. Or we might be doing the main story. I don't exactly remember. But, yeah. As I said, Ian, shout out to him. Send him a friend request. Drop, uh, drop by his channel, whatever. You're probably going to get Immortal HD, but... <laughs> Who cares? He, and as you can see, level 56, level 57 people. I kind of try to stay back so I don't just get blown out of my shit. And again, with the fire guns, I can actually use them now. So, no need to be alarmed. I try to run through this, but then he sees me. Throw it on my turret. let you hear that sweet sound turret I have to go by yeah we're doing we're actually still doing the firehawk quest I just realized we have to go put matchstick into the mouth of the fire guy the fire dragon and as you can see Ian goes down before me shows that I'm pretty good dude I'm pretty good even though I was fighting absolutely nobody and I got really close to reviving him, but I don't. If I hadn't, if I hadn't hit that, I might have gotten him. Now I have to fight a level 57 Big Bertha by myself against Boom and Boom. That boss, I, I enjoyed that boss. That boss was pretty fun to fight. He's a lot easier to fight with a commando though, because you can just kind of sit here shoot once or twice while the turret takes care of him. I can't kill Bume though, the little guy. I cannot kill him. And Ian, with his masterful power of smarts and cunning, comes behind me and gets me blown up from behind while I'm searching for my caustic uh, shotgun. Yet, Ian still, I slag this guy so Ian can kill him, but Ian leaves me to die anyway. Because Ian is not smart. <laughs> yeah, but there's a little tactic you can use if you want to get one of your friends up and not you. Use a slag weapon. Then it makes him easier to kill for your friend. Maybe you might even get the kill if he has low health. Always shoot at the people when you're down. <laughs> Always. You get ammo afterward. It's a good tactic. I tried to kind of... I, I missed the entrance, and I was going to try and parkour it. Probably would have gotten him if I went the right way the first time. But it's all about the parkour. I don't even know if he, think, if he knows that I'm even recording this right now. He probably doesn't even know. So this might be a surprise to him. But again, thank you to all my many... 23 subscribers it is now for subscribing to this channel I know that the graphics <laughs> well not really graphics but the quality of the videos aren't really great I try my best but you guys still seem to subscribe and makes me feel great guys thanks <laughs> but yeah I have all the equipment just might be a little while until I get it set up I tried to set it up yesterday and it was a operation failure. So, 
it'll have to wait a little while before I can actually get the HD PVR set up and all that good stuff. And if you guys know of a uh, sound, just sound, it doesn't need to have video or any, anything, just a audio recording, like, I don't, I don't know what to say, like an audio recording software, not even software, just like maybe a website, something like that, a free download, something like that. That would be very nice, because the one I have right now, I, I kind of want to do live commentaries, because I think that would be more interesting than, than just me, like, saying crap over this stuff. It, it would be a lot better if I kind of just said it when it happened, I think. So if you guys could give me, like, a website for that, I would be able to do live commentaries, and that would be much appreciated and much better than what it is now be a lot easier too because then I wouldn't have to just go over it put the audio in it take double the amount of time all that stuff so I could put out more videos quicker and that would be a lot better for you and me because you'd be able to see the videos and I wouldn't have to take so much time making one video but you know if you guys don't know or just don't feel like it, uh, I, I don't really care, but I'll look for it on my own. Yeah, uh, he's dead, finally. Just had to teabag his body. It would be much appreciated if you guys could tell me one, but I don't, it doesn't really matter all that much. Just I want to see what you guys know about, see if it's better than what I can find. But back to the gameplay. You're about to see Midget death and destruction we finally beat that boss after like five or six deaths trying to finally beat him and now we're going up to the dragon to go put matchstick in the dragon's mouth so he burns alive and we can finish the mission that was kind of weird how that midget just kind of spawned there though didn't really understand that you saw it, right? like a little midget just randomly come up there. And then I, w I was scared here. I was like running around. Then I realized it's Ian shooting at me. Idiot. Should have said something. But he's using the Rough Rider shield, which is a shield that I, I, I don't understand the use of it. It kind of, it you don't have a shield capacity, but it, do it increases something. But with his character, he put it so precisely that when he doesn't have shields, he moves really fast. So, I guess it works out for him, but I, I couldn't stand not having a shield. That'd be terrible. That, that shield is like the worst shield. It doesn't give you shield, but it's still a shield. And how many times am I going to say shield? One more. That shield sucks. Don't know why he uses it. Probably he's an idiot. This is the kid that likes uh, friggin' Lilith. Thinks it's the best character. And <laughs> takes my revive points. And I just walk up there and get shot in the face. But it's cool. You know, they're level 58, 56, something like that. And I'm only level 53. So. I just decided to not care and kind of just run through, <laughs> get as far as I can, and then have Ian revive me, but you know, Ian can't do anything. Come on, Ian, come and revive me. And then he has those wings of blight, whatever you want to call them, I don't even know what they're called. And Siren's a pretty good character, though, has a few good things in the skill tree. Like that rough rider thing, but I, I don't think I could live with having no shield. I, I use my shield a lot. Like that, that uh, if my shield wasn't there, I would have been dead. Like five seconds before. So, you know, you need a shield. Just after this right here, just look at how many bullet holes there were in that wall. Did you guys see that? I just completely let my trigger fly there. There's so many bullets. 
There are bullet holes in that wall. Sorry, I was I was uh kind of eating some cereal there. Lot like last time I was doing this, I'm eating some more cereal, but this time I'm keeping it a bit farther away. Oh, I'm so thirsty right now. So you know what? I'm just gonna leave this mic as far away as I can take it, and I'm gonna talk while I pour myself a glass of orange juice. So. Okay, guys, hopefully you can still hear me, but I'm opening fridge. Oh, apple juice. Get a little crazy up in here. Mission accomplished. Oh, it seems I'm, I'm down with the Maggie. Very good revolver. Ugh. I advise you guys try this naturally flavored apple juice beverage for kids from a Hannaford's. Some good apple juice. And it has 40 less, 40% 40 less sugar. So this is where you uh, take matchstick and burn his face off. You put him up on the little pole over there. And then you go like, swag, and go and burn him. Then he says a bunch of random crap about how the Firehawk is, I love you, and stuff. Yeah. And then Lilith was like, dude, you're so hot, why did you kill yourself? And then he's like, because you're so ugly, Lilith. Because Lilith is friggin' annoying. And then Ian gives me this really, really good submachine gun that I use for, like, the rest of these episodes. What, what's that submachine gun called? The Stark something. I, I couldn't even read it from here. It's pretty good, though. And Ian kind of wants to duel me. And now I'm trying to find a way to jump off of here. Because, you know, it's all about the parkour. If you guys didn't know, there's one right here that I found. If Ian would move his ugly woman body out of the way. Kind of just go, nope, not there. Yeah, this is where you fight Flint, just telling you. And you go, wee. That, that would hurt if you were like, if you were to take fall damage, maybe. But I like it how there's no fall damage, because I, I find it more fun, games without fall damage. Like, I, I don't remember if... Halo 3 doesn't have fall damage, I know that. I don't remember about Halo 4, though. I haven't played, like, campaign or some kind of multiplayer with jumping in a while in Halo 4. But, <clears throat> as soon... Probably will do something on Dead Space or Army of Two, the fortieth day. Dead Space three. But um if I can get the game from my friend who's being kind of a butthole and I might get state of the state of decay and do something on that too. I also did a bit on Skyrim that I have recorded that I might voice over soon. So expect Dead Space Army Two and Skyrim, maybe. But, I'm gonna kill this guy here. No matter what happens, I, I set my heart on it, I was gonna kill this guy. Because this submachine gun is actually pretty good. Because all my other weapons were level, like, 50. Legendary weapons, this one's a level 53. And this is a completely different guy right here. Which I don't think I get to kill. Nope. <laughs> I didn't get to kill either of them. Because Ian's a bum and had to go back to uh, Frostburn Canyon before I could even get to kill that guy. Stupid Ian. So for all you bronies out there that 
are watching these videos, uh, you have a friend. Immortalized HD is a brony. So if you want to go talk about brony crap with him, I would advise not doing it on this channel because it's a complete waste of time. But if you want to talk about it with someone, send the Immortalized HD a friend request, bro. And here's the next part of the mission. You have to... I hit that with a shotgun from all the way over here, just telling you that right now. But this is the part where you have to set all the fire effigies on fire with a fire weapon to start the kindling. This mission is just not hard right here at all. That part was honestly stupid to me. It was a waste of time, but... And I can never find my way to the enkindling. So that's basically what the whole next episode is about. But this video is almost over. So I guess I might as well just say my goodbyes. Toodaloo!